show my blantos. I always get hair in my mouth. <coughs> Buzzing. Monday at 8pm, Monday, I don't know the date, on Monday the 13th of April, people in Wales have decided to sing the Welsh National Anthem at 8pm, but it's surprising to me how many people who don't actually know it because it's not an easy one to learn. So I thought today I'm going to give you a hand with it. Don't worry if you don't know it and you've been only singing bits, it's not a problem, it's all about the heart of it and I'm sure you join in in the glad glad bit anyway but I thought I'd help out with the rest of it. I'm going to be teaching you it in the Sham Vegas dialect because that's where I'm from, that's how I sing it. Other people are going to be singing it differently, doesn't mean that they're singing it wrong, just singing it in a different dialect. Just thought I'd point that out. So let's get cracking! This was composed in 1856 by James James and his daddo, Evan James, uh, wrote the lyrics. The father-son effort, which is very, very lovely. Nice and easy beginning. It starts with the title, My Hain Wlad Ver Nha Dai. Nha Dai is a bit of a tricky bit because you're doing the Nha there. Nha Dai. My Hain Wlad Ver Nha Dai. An Anoil E Me. My Hain Wlad Ver Nha Dai. An Anoil E Me. The beginning of that, the first line, means land of my father's is dear to me. It's precious to me. Glad beirth a chantorion en wogion ovri. Glad beirth a chantorion en wogion ovri. If you can get the rolled R in there, that oh, it feels good when you do it yourself. Uh, it's basically Glad Beirth, a land of uh, poets, Achantorion, singers, and Wogionovri, people of stature, lots of like sort of, you know, good strong people. E gurol revelwer Glad Garwer Tramad. E gurol revelwer Glad Garwer Tramad. Now I'm really going at it with the R's there. If you can't, that's absolutely fine. Glad Garwer means warriors. So her brave warriors who are fine patriots. Tros Rathid Goshasant e Gwaid. Tros Rathid Goshasant e Gwaid. They shed their blood for their freedom. That's kind of what it's talking about. So you wonder why, you know, Welsh people get so passionate when they're singing this. You know, our national anthem is really, it's all about us coming together and just fighting for what we believe in. The bit that people get confused with, it goes, it goes, tros rhyddid gollasant e gwaid. Gwaid means blood and glad means land. Very different words for very different occasions. Then comes the fun bit, which everyone loves. Glad. Glad, played y'all, oh, I'm glad. Glad, glad, played y'all. You, you stay on that sort of the A bit for three. Played y'all. Glad, glad, played y'all. It's not play D y'all. Played y'all. Oh, I've, another two there. Oh, I've, I'm glad. I am true to my land. Land, land, I am true to my land. Tra mor an vir ir beer hof by. Tra mor an vir ir beer hof by. As long as the sea acts as a wall for this land. O bathed ir henyaith bar high. O bathed ir henyaith bar hai. O bathed ir henyaith bar hai. Oh, may this language last forever. Oh, may Welsh endure forever. You can also understand people getting annoyed when they uh, say, oh, your language is dead, isn't it? 
No. You can see the passion in this and you can see the purpose of it, of saying how important, you know, like, you know, fighting for your freedom, fighting for your land and fighting for your language. And that's why people get so defensive of it. They're literally singing about it at each rugby game. And you may not have known that, but now you know about it. Hopefully this video has given you a bit of an insight. Let's just go through it one more time in blocks and we'll I'll put the the each verse on the screen and we'll go through it together. My hen lad vern ha die an anoil e me glad bear a chantorion and wogion ovri a gural revel with Glad garwir tramad <laughs> tros rhyddid gollasant a gwaed. Glad, glad, pleid iol oi fi'n glad tramor yn fi'r i'r byr hoff bai. O byddet i'r heniaeth barhau. Awesome. And if you want to, go really high at the end, because some people go really high on heniaeth, and that makes it for me. I never do, though. I just keep it chill. No, I'm lying. I'm not chill when we're singing the national anthem at all. So hopefully, this video has given you a bit of insight, and hopefully I'll be able to hear you at 8pm on Monday, Let's all come together, boys. Let's have a little sing song. You know, singing a song doesn't make a massive difference. But sometimes, you know, say if there's someone living on their own who is in isolation by themselves, just hearing something that's familiar and something that can link us all together as a nation would probably be quite uplifting. Yeah, let's give it a go, boys. Thanks for listening. And I'll be back soon with another video.